Okay, welcome to this Love Sub and Short Film Series. And in this episode, I'm gonna tell you why I dislike this battery chart. Many of you may be aware, if you've watched our channel, that I was a battery engineer for 25 years. And for full disclosure, it was a major consumer products company, not an RV uh, battery company, but the principles are the same. And when I say I hate this chart, it's not so much that I hate it, it's that it's misused. And when on the internet forums, people are constantly asking, when should I recharge my battery? How do I know my battery is good? Is my battery good? And good intention people will usually post the chart and say, this is what you need to look at. Well, it's not. It is a chart that can be useful if it's used correctly. To show you why it's difficult to use a chart, I'm gonna go ahead and talk with Caleb here over at Park at 360. He's gonna demonstrate using one of his vehicles and then we'll wrap this thing up. I'm using this as an opportunity to show a little bit about how battery voltage and battery service life is not really you really can't tell you know when somebody says well how do i know if my battery is good or not they always point to this chart right here and say well just look at this if you're at 12.2 you're at 60 percent or whatever right but that only is applicable for a battery that's off load and at rest as soon as you put a load on that battery voltage is going to drop down and i think this carrier here before we get into what this does really demonstrates that so go ahead and take a look then okay go ahead and move it a little bit you can see okay. the load dropped yeah okay so bring, bring up the camera so yeah this is a big load this is a big battery and you can see how it dropped like that but in your rv if you're trying to check your voltage and you've got lights on you've got fans on you've got your inverter on all those things are drawing power and so you just can't press that button. It's like, as I say, it's like reading Braille with dish gloves on. I mean, it can get an idea, but really it's that Victron battery monitor. And that's why you can see here, if you look at this Victron battery monitor, how I can be at a relatively low voltage, but a high percentage. That's because it's calculating the true amp usage. Oh, and one final thing. If you look at the chart, this is just kind of like a bonus reason why I don't like it. It says 100% charge is 12.7 volts. I've had this RV for 20 years crappy lead acid batteries for 20 years and I have never seen a resting voltage of 12.7 in my life. My batteries are almost always about 12.53, 12.55. When they're at that level, I know it's 100% charge. So even then I'm starting off like, where do they get these numbers from? So I hope that demonstration showed you why if you don't use the chart correctly, you may end up with false results. Now, is the chart useful? Absolutely. As I said, if you have no load on the battery, you let it rest for a little bit, you know, you consciously shut everything off, turn everything off, and maybe only have a light load like your LPT detector. It can give you a good estimation of what your battery life is. But the best way is that Victron, like I showed. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you have questions about your battery and we'll see if we can answer them. Yeah, literally I'll answer any battery questions you can. Rechargeables even regular ones because we come out with RV and airstream related videos and an occasional short film series just like this one every so often thanks, thanks. for watching <laughs>